Oh, what's going on, people? Um, excuse me for a second as I let me do this little kind of quick video while I'm playing this wonderful game that I enjoy right now, which is Mario Odyssey. And it looks great on my TV, and I'm enjoying this. Now, I, I want to do point out some, certain things as well, too, for this game as well before I go into what our topic is. And it's this. Um, people made arguments about the, uh, we call it the motion control options. And again, it's motion control options. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I'm not, not trying to force you. I'm just going to nip it to help people out there who want to do certain things. Now, you can play with the Joy-Cons separate and use the motion action. So you can play with the Joy-Cons together. Or you can play it like what I'm playing right now with it, which is the Switch Pro Controller. Still not my number one controller, but uh, like I said, I bought it for a reason and I'm going to use it. But people are like, oh, well, you know, if you want to do Cappy's new move with the whole stuff, there's two ways to do it. You could, um, you could spin. You could do the spin with, with, the, with the sticks and then press Y and, he, and, and Mario will do it, do it like that. That's what you did. You spin the sticks, he'll spin or whatever. It takes a little common stuff. For me, it doesn't really, but I'm using my other hand. But here's another way that people, you know, if you need it on a fly, all you gotta do is, and it happens, just flick it. So, I, it's weird, but again, and if you wanna climb up fast, all you gotta do is just shake a little, 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 when you press it up, just shake a little bit and it's gonna go up. That's why I like the, this, that's why this controller is a little, is expensive, people. Gotta see? You can do all the stuff with it, just with a flick. And you're good but again whatever so oops but well, let's go into something that talking about which is basically I want to go into something that, that that is a kind of a hindrance to me it's annoying now I have several games on my console and it's all about the whole install crap that, that's pissing me no, it ain't pissed me off again why I keep on saying it it doesn't I use that word because it's annoying, and I should, I should use the right word. It's annoying. So, a usual tech boy, not one of him, but a lot of other people too, call about the whole thing. And I'm going to show you something up on the screen that's funny too in a little while. But this is funny. I always talk about all the file sizes and 32 gigs and stuff like that. And again, with the Wii U, which, is, which you can see right there, that's the Wii U right there. I said my argument stands right there. So, I've been doing this, this kind of argument for a long time now. That's why it was funny when I, like I said, when I caught that video there with OJ was talking about how the deal, um, the RMD stuff, and he deleted that video. I was like, yeah, because I told you that when we had all one on one, and you basically laughed that off. But I digress. So that's what it is. As you can see, I got several games here. I have several games here that I've enjoyed. Got a couple more that a couple more that I'm gonna be downloading and having some fun with. So because I want to download some games, the indie games that I, I like, of course I went and buy something. But let's let, let's get to the point I had right here, which is systems. All right. Do, 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 do. Where is it? No. There we go. All right. You saw those games I have. Look at the system memory. Majority of my games, of course, are physical. Don't need to install. Richie Boy and a couple Stone Fox Media and all those guys, like, I don't need to install. That's why I still have 16 gigabytes of free space. I bought the micro SD card, which is a 128 gig micro SD card for twenty uh thirty dollars from Amazon, I should say. 33 exactly if you have to have taxes and stuff, but you know, from Amazon.com. But I'm not, I only did that because I wanted to use the for when I'm buying uh, indie games, which is basically that's all I am. Because again, for my Wii U, I have a two terabyte hard drive that's overkill, but it was for $60, so it didn't bother me. But again, on the Wii U, I didn't have to install nothing, and I did a video about that. and 
It's going to be linked into the description later on. It, at initial, when you're watching this video, it's not, but I'll find a link in the description and in the card system. But this is the thing that kills me. I have space, ample space still on my Switch because I don't have to install nothing. See? Implosion, which is my newest game, love playing this game. 4.8 gigs for for the download. That's an indie game. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the free patch that they give you for the for Xenoverse 1 and all the stuff. 2 gigs. Splatoon, you know what's on the Splatoon? Because I have the card. Arms, because I have the card. Blast Zero, that's a full game download. Sonic Mania, 1.8 megabytes. All these are things. Mario, Mario Rabbits, because I have the card. Odyssey, because I have the game card. Fire Emblem, because I have the game card. Mario Kart, because I have the game card. Switch, barely anything on that son of a gun. Now, if anybody has to have Zelda on the Wii U, I play through the Wii U, not through the... I have it for Switch for my sister. But anyway, that's that's what it is. For anybody, again, stomping this thing down, beating this thing to a dead horse. That's the difference with the file sizes. Because you don't have to install the damn games. That's what it is. I don't know why people don't get that point. You don't have to install the games. But on Sony and PlayStation and Xbox One, you do. And now with the Xbox One S, X, sorry, sorry, X, my mistake, coming out, they revamped some of the stuff for the games, for downloads and everything, so people could enjoy it because there's really no exclusive games, and I'll get to that point in a little bit too. But there's some games, which is ridiculous. So let me get this straight. So we have Gears of War 4, 114 gigs. Installed. Halo 5, no, 103. Let me be correct. 103. Halo 5, 114 gigs. Of course, you saw what, um, my, um, Activision's game, Call of Duty World War 2, that has, that's 88 gigs. Forza, 95 gigs. Quantum Break, 85 gigs, and if you want the episodes for some weird reason, 75 gigs for the episodes. Now, the Xbox One X has a one terabyte, um, one terabyte hard drive. If you're going to put in more textures and all that stuff, yeah, Rich, that's what's going to happen. And and if is that's what's going to happen. It's going to suck up all those, those, um, including this, the um, system. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the SD card. Because how to format it, it takes me a certain amount. It's free. I got nothing on the SD card at all. I don't even fuck because all these, all you can see, all these are on the the, the system memory. I don't have an SD card because I format the system to recognize it. That took up that space. Whatever the software needs to run on those on the drive, it takes up the space. And the problem is though, you know, he came, because Stone Fox was saying, oh, and the same thing. With, they were like, oh. Well, you know, because they have all the patches and stuff, and you think it's a normal. No, it should not be that big of a, it should be not normal. You got to patch the daggone game like that. Shouldn't. Should not. And the bigger these games are, the harder it is because they do not clean up. That's why Nintendo's games are that small when it, when it compresses. They have good compression. Why? Because they, we, they go back, and I said it many times before, they, and I have a video about that. I, oh, God, I swear. I don't know if I'll, I'll try to find that link that in the description, too. You clean up the code, and it's so easy to compress. That's what it is. But people... If you don't clean up your code and you keep on rushing and let it keep on being like Tetris just be all over the place, you're not. It, it's not going to be easy to compact and compress and make it a nice, clean, and that's where all of that glitches come from too. But that's why those the third parties and all these other games are so huge because they don't clean up their code. Because they've been half the time because they're being rushed by the publisher. So let's go to something else that's funny to me. All right. 
So this is this. You can go to this and Google it if you want. This I'm just taking an excerpt. This is from PC Gaming. Their review of the Xbox One X. And I'm sorry for the dirty hands. I'm trying to keep it as level as I can. This is the ending of their review, which is wow to me. As you can see, as I put in Google Plus, now this is short, throwing some damn shade. But the ending of the review says. What I think is good news for good news here, and of course in the context, these are PC gamers who have played, um, you know, up do the, the resolution with 4K and all that stuff before, and they could, you know, do the frame rate and have like two, three, four, five terabytes for for games, and you could install and all that stuff, which is no problem to them, and Steam and blah blah blah. So that's the aspects of it. But let's go. Well, thinking the good, uh, well. I think the good news here is PC, for PC gamers, though may not be the best news for Xbox sales, is that Microsoft renewed attention to the PC means you really don't need an Xbox One to play most games. It seems almost like all the console exclusives are destined to be PC at this point. Microsoft has worked hard to justify owning both features like the game streaming. Your Xbox will automatically upload screenshots and video clips to the cloud where you can access them on PC Xbox One app, Xbox app, those are nice, but not enough to make me want to buy a console. If I want to buy a Blu-ray player, the Xbox is a great buy, though, like I said above, I think I'll go for the more affordable Xbox One S. But if it's all about games, all about games, here's a PC Gamer magazine the Nintendo Switch seems to be like a no-brainer right now. Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, Mario Odyssey, and all these great games, being able to play them on the go really does feel a bit more magical. Microsoft is years beyond Nintendo in online features, and I agree 100% on that. But, well, they just don't have Zelda, do they? And that's a little slight little jab right there. Wow. Xbox One X. Why would I spend $500... Just for prettier games. And it's not even, you don't even have exclusive games to make me want to go buy the console. If people want to buy it, and I'll say this again, like I always say, if you want to buy it because you want prettier graphics on your console, go right ahead. That is your right to do that. And I'm not against you for that. All I know is, from the company side, this is basically this is basically writing this thing off. Sorry, Xbox One fans, for who are gonna believe in Xbox like that. This is the this is the swan this um, the swan song for the Xbox division. They're gonna be a gaming. They've been trying to do this from since 2012 in the boardroom to make it a PC platform, not a console, because they don't make money on the console. Go back to with the WTF four, and I show you graphs and uh, stuff from the IR pages with. Xbox and how they don't make that much money. That's from the consoles and the division itself. They made one percent of Microsoft's money, which is not which which the investors don't like. They're like one percent, don't care. It's gonna be a PC thing. So I, I, it's it's I, I feel sad. That's that's what the outcome is gonna be. But for those who just like I said, I. As I said many times before, and you know, good thing for the Xbox too because a uh, one thing I'll give you, Cuphead is coming. You know, get a physical release. That's pretty awesome. If I had a console, I'd get a physical. But like I said, I got it on Steam. But for those who want it, that's a cool thing. But for me, I'm gonna be here just playing my game of choice on my console without having to worry about. But I don't have to worry about all the um, <clears throat> problems of installing this and installing that when it comes to the games that I really, really like. If it's a digital game from any any party, have no problem. Bought me a 30, uh, 30 um, uh, SD card like you see, put it on my console and, and enjoy their games because I want to support them. So you got there with the, uh, with the terabyte. Overkill because the games I want the most from Nintendo I don't have to install. LA Noir, all those stuff. Those who want to buy those, go right ahead. Not my game again that I want to install, but what can I say? What can I say? But with the rest of you guys, like I said, enjoy your games. This is your boy Ligo. Once again, 
enjoy your games at all costs because it's no perfect games. What perfect to you is not perfect to me. What's perfect to me is not What's perfect to me is not perfect to you. What's perfect to you is not perfect to me. Simply enjoy your games on all consoles here on PC. Peace out. And oh yes, I love the charm of this game of having the water drops on the screen and the stuff that Mario do. Even though it don't have the a photorealistic, don't have the photorealistic um, graphics, it still looks good. Why? Because they put extra charm, which you see in my new series on my channel called The Breakdown of Why Mario is King. I'll explain more about that. With that said, peace out.